Well, this episode was quite a surprise, right from the get-go all the way to the end. I'm dead serious. This episode is called Boom. It starts off and the SPD Rangers are getting their butts kicked by a bunch of crybots. Then from out of nowhere, the SPD Orange Ranger makes his appearance. And he puts all those crybots in their place. Then I noticed the Rangers cheering for him. And I started thinking, something's a little off. And of course, right after the fight was over, it turned out to be that goofball boom. Which also turns out he was just dreaming. <laughs> we then see Mora, aka Morgana, having a talk with Piggy. And she wants to know how to destroy the Power Rangers. He then directs her to his friend Tomars. And he shows her a laptop, which can transport anything and anyone to any part of the world or possibly another dimension. Piggy ended up being one of the first test subjects for the machine, and Morgana loved it. And at SPD headquarters, Cat tells Doggy about the energy reading the computer picked up, and Jack and Skye head off to find out what's going on. Boom's parents then pay Sydney, Z, and Bridge a visit, and they are looking for their son who is supposedly training. And it turns out that he was stuck in the janitor's room, doing his little closet surveillance or something like that. Jack and Skye then locate the energy source, which was a laptop, and Tomars came in and sent them both to an unknown location, which we don't find out exactly where until later. Boom then explains to Sydney, Z, and Bridge about the dream he had, along with him being the Orange Ranger and the squad commander of SPD. Wow. <laughs> we then see where Skye and Jack were sent, which is in a very small room with no way out. Tomars then came in, the Rangers morphed up, and they did everything they could to take him down. But before the Rangers could get any kind of upper hand against them, they get transported again, this time in an even more dangerous place. And this happened several times throughout the fight, and it seemed like there was just no end to it. Sydney, Z, and Bridge then have a talk with each other about what to do with Boom and his parents, and they decided to give Boom a little endorsement, you could say. While Boom shows off to his family, doing all kinds of training, and having his moment in the spotlight. And Boom was having lots of fun, that was until a real emergency happened, but luckily for him, the three rangers covered for him, and went to look for Sky and Jack after a briefing from Doggy. And while Boom is still showing his family around, they see the three rangers are in trouble fighting off the crybots, and his parents expect him to help them out. And I'm thinking, if he actually tries this, it's going to be a disaster. So the three rangers put a strategy together to get the laptop back from the crybots, then Boom shows up in his sorry excuse for a ranger outfit, and he ends up making a complete fool out of himself. Tripping over his own feet, falling on his ass, getting in the way, all the above. And as a result of that, the rangers end up losing the laptop due to Boom's interference. But I'll admit, this was really funny. It makes me think back to when Bulk and Skull tried to fight off bad guys back in the day, but failed in the process. <laughs> the three rangers head back to base, and they tell Doggy what happened about how the laptop was the cause of Sky and Jack's disappearance, and how they lost it because of Boom. And right there and then, he resigned right away, and Doggy accepted it. We then cut back to the battle between the two Rangers and Tomars, and things are really getting out of hand. They need backup fast, but from the way it looks, it's not happening anytime soon. Boom then confessed to his parents that he lied to them about being the Orange Ranger, and it was all because he didn't want to disappoint them. And right when he was about to leave SPD headquarters for good, he showed up just in time to help Cat and the others get the analyzer back online to find out where the other two rangers were. Doggy didn't want to risk sending the three rangers to go after Sky and Jack, so who volunteered to go? Boom did. And once again, Doggy accepted. Hopefully he has life insurance. So the two rangers are still fighting for their lives, and they're still struggling. Then Boom gets transported to their location just in time. And he actually got in the first shot on Tomars. Not bad. But it doesn't stop there, because everything rests solely on that controller. It took a while, because it was being kicked and thrown all over the place. And this part actually had you on the edge of your seat. Because seeing this for the first time, you're thinking, something has got to give. But eventually, Boom got the controller, he brought the Rangers back to SPD, and shut down the computer just in time with Tomars trapped inside it. Which means, yes you guessed it. Boom, save the day. Sweet. And the episode ends with him having to talk with his parents about what he really does around SPD, and he flies away while testing a hover pack that he probably wasn't even supposed to touch yet. 
awesome episode, had lots of funny moments, and yes, it was very enjoyable.